Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and welcome back to the Terraformed Moon of Icarus. Continuing our gameplay here on uh, Prometheus, uh, we've got a one biome we haven't been to yet. We've been to the snow biome, we've been to the swamps, of course we've been to the, the plains area where we normally start. But we haven't yet been to the lava biome or the volcanic biome, I don't, wanna, I don't know what you want to call it. We're going to go play over there today. Hopefully the suit that I'm wearing actually affords me the protection I need, because I've never been there before and I don't know if it's actually going to help me. Or if I need something different, but I guess we'll find out one way or another. Welcome everybody who's here in the chat so far, or if you're watching on the channel afterwards, welcome as well. As always, a huge thanks to everyone who's clicked on that join button to become a channel member. Thank you greatly for all the support. And a special thanks to those people that chose that top tier mistakes are made option. Uh, there's a titanium I need to do some further development. So before we can build out some more of the, the crafting stations that I need to get like up to tier 4 for things... Uh, we're gonna need some titanium, and apparently that's available in the, uh, the volcanic biome, or the lava biome, whatever you want to call it. The hot rock biome. I'm gonna get the hot rocks. I'm probably gonna get a hot foot while we're at it, if I had to guess. Uh, but I want to go into try and tackle that today, so we'll see if we can find one. There's, um, as I understand, I think there's two of them. There's, like, one up here somewhere, past this, uh, this swamp over in this region over here is volcanic, I think. And then I think the other one... I don't know if it's up here, past the snow biome, or like down here. I don't really remember. I had I had looked on a map earlier, and then I sort of forgot. I, I know for sure there's one over here. That's probably the one we're going to hit up. The Bearded Cobra, thanks for clicking that join button and for choosing the top tier membership. Greatly appreciated. Thank you very, very much. Evening all. How's my back doing? Ah, eh, my back's all right. I'm in, uh, <laughs> I went to an osteopath uh, the other day for the first time ever to see what that was all about. Uh, so we'll see. It hasn't been bad, though. It comes and goes. It's sort of like, it's dependent on if I strain it or not. But it's fine. Thank you, just the same. Got a little bit of gold in here. I only got a fuel. This little, uh, this little gold deposit, like, right here is amazing. Super handy to have one, like, right next to my base like that. I don't have to, like, go find one in a cave or whatever. Uh, I should probably set up some more of those things so I have a constant supply of incoming metals. But, uh... There's this thing I suffer from. I think it's called laziness. I think that's what it is. I haven't gotten said in many others yet. Uh, I want to get some electricity going today, too. Uh, I did build uh, some... I popped in... I don't know. It might have been yesterday. I was going to stream last night, and then I had issues and didn't uh, didn't stream last night. Um, so I popped in yesterday and built all the supplies I need to get a water wheel so we can set this up in the little river that we have next to our house. Start to supply some, uh, some more power in here. We can do other things with that. Um, there's gonna be some crafting benches that are gonna need power, but it would also be nice to get some electric lights in here, because some of the, like, torch light and stuff is just not very good. So, we'll see if we can get this going. Um, must be placed in flowing water. I feel like that water is flowing. I see it moving. Is it not moving enough? This is a problem. Houston, we have a problem. This looks different than I remember, too. I thought I had, like, a, like a platform base or something on it. This water is not considered flowing. Okay, oh, it's, it is down here. That's so weird. Why is it flowing down here, but not anywhere else? Well, whatever. I mean, it's a little ways to run electricity, but I guess it's not that bad. It is what it is. <laughs> it's not as close as I wanted it to be, but uh, hopefully weather isn't a problem for wiring. I don't know. An osteopath is it like a bone whisperer. Yeah, um, yeah. So she, it's it's like basically like kinesiology, as far as I can tell. A lot of like things related to like joint movement and what have you. I don't know. Mrs. Fox wants me to kill a spider. I'm I literally am streaming right now. <laughs> I'm supposed to go kill a spider. Ah, all right. Hold on. Give me a minute. The brave defender has got to go defend his family from the horrible monster. <laughs> I'll be right back. Don't go away.
It was a titanic battle. But I came back with only minor injuries. <laughs> oh. Alright, I need uh I need wiring now. I haven't done any electrical wiring in this game in like forever. Oh! I also got enough stuff here so I can make a forge. And possibly enough for an advanced masonry bench. I don't know if I have enough stuff here. Um so this should let me make some other stuff too. So we'll craft that up. <laughs> I get bit by a normal spider. I don't turn into Spider-Man, that's for sure. Much to my chagrin. A little bit more stone and I can make that uh make that advanced masonry bench. Come on. Wait a minute, is that my stuff getting hurt? Back off, track! Oh my god. I literally just broke my fence. Look what you made me do! I broke the fence! Okay, we'll get that going. I gotta fix my fence now. Oh, I guess the, well, the wood's kind of gone, so we'll grab one of these. I cut, I cut down a couple trees earlier, too, because I, I knew I was going to need some wood. This was not exactly what I intended to use it for. Um, what am I lacking? Oh, I don't have fiber on me. I need fiber! Yeah, Fox 1, Spider 0, that's right. <laughs> How big was the spider? It was pretty small. It was, uh, it was definitely... Nothing to worry about, let's just say. You know how it is, though. My daughter really doesn't like spiders. Like, she full-on freaks out if she sees them. It's good times. Oh, I also changed these stairs out. I did some indoor flooring in here. Uh, I'm going to swap out the upper floor so that it's all the indoor wood as well. Get a little bit nicer look in here than the rustic we've been going with. Uh, all right. Deploy. Plug that gap in. Not that it matters all that much, since they just kind of get through anyway, but... Maybe I should have put a gate there, like, over here. Oh, well. Whatever. It doesn't matter. I need to put a proper, like, palisade wall around this place to keep the... Keep the monsters out. What happened to my second pet? I don't know. I... That's a really good question, because when I look at the map... I see two pets marked here. I don't know if one of them is, like... Underneath the ground somewhere, or what the deal is. I don't know why there would be two markings there, though. Anyway, I did get one of them killed, so maybe that's what happened. <laughs> I don't know. Australia, do you have some spiders? Yes, yes, Petrol, Na or Petrol Nation, you, uh, you definitely have spiders that we don't have. I don't like spiders to begin with. I don't want to mess with those ones. Old school super chat. Going to the lava area. Need a guide. I won't stab you. Promise. That's all right. We'll find our way. But yeah, I'm going to go to the lava area. I know there's a cave in this uh, northern swamp up here. We can go through somewhere over somewhere over in this range. M3, M3. Somewhere around here, there's a cave that goes through L3, maybe. Anyway, somewhere up here, there's a cave that passes through. Oh, I put a carpet down too. I made a, a little woven rug. Not that that's you know anything fantastic, but we got one of those now too. Um, all right, so I have the forge now. I don't know if the forge takes the place of the anvil or if it's like just additional things. Oh my god, it's freaking huge. <laughs> Where am I going? Ah, oh. I have serious problems with space. I'm going to need to like relocate at some point. <laughs> Look at this thing. Where's... Make it huge forge fires in the middle of the room. Absolutely no venting required. What do we got in here? Iron axes and stuff? Yeah, so this looks like it makes all the things that the anvil makes. Um, but then it's got some extra stuff too. We got our platinum items in here. We got our crossbow and such. I'd like to get a platinum axe, actually. I need cured leather for that. Some fine wood. Platinum ingots. Platinum ingots I have. They're actually in here. We got 15 of those. Uh, refined wood I have in here. 
The leather, I don't know. I think... Did we do the leather on the drying rack? Is that where that goes? I actually can't remember. Maybe not? Oh yeah, there it is. So, cured leather is uh, leather tree sap. Apparently I'm just short on tree sap, so we can probably make some of that, I guess. We gotta get some sticks. What kinds of sticks? The forge doesn't work indoors? That's probably good to know. Versatile forge powered by coal for various whatever, whatever's. Oh, it does say it has to be outside. Okay. Interesting. Alright, well, let's get this stuff then. How do I pick it up? Can I pick it up? I should be able to pick it up, right? I can pick up other things, can I? Hold X to pick up, maybe. There's no pop-up icons on that thing. That's weird. There isn't even, like, the, the icon you get that tells you, like, to interact with it. Put the forge out here. Alright, maybe not. Can you get out of the way? Can you move? Nope, I walk right through you. That's good. Okay, well, fun. Whatever, we'll put it there. Doesn't matter if it's against the wall, I guess. Weird. Pick it up one brick at a time. <laughs> it's just weird that it doesn't have, like, when you... Normally when you walk up... Oh, there it is. It's, uh, it's a little farther up to the right. Uh, when I was looking down at it, I couldn't see it because it's, like, up off the screen. Whatever. It's fine. We moved it. All's good. Problem solved. Uh, what else did I craft? Oh yeah, this thing here. The uh, advanced masonry bench. Crafting tools and stuff. Um, again, I don't know how big of a space this is. I'm assuming it takes up the, the, the usage of this other bench. So we'll... Uh, can we not do this, please? There we go. Oh, man, I got too much stuff on me now. I gotta pick up all the... Th oh, yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, most of the stuff I sh is gonna have to go outside to that... The forge out here anyway. I'm sure little CO2 never hurt anyone, that's right. What's a little CO2 between friends? I'm sure it's perfectly fine. Because I won't need the anvil anymore, I guess, if I have that. May need coal to run the forge? Yeah, I think it said something about using coal. That's alright. I don't know. Okay, I'm not gonna have room for all this. Uh, okay, I can put some of the stone upstairs in the stick in here. So I know where to find it. Actually, as, as long as I have the inventory space, I guess it doesn't really matter, because I can just pick this thing up and then load it all directly into the other bench. I'm assuming this thing, this thing doesn't require power. Manual workspace for crafting, civil, blah, 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 blah. There we go. I didn't know so many wood railings. I thought I only made one. Whatever. Good enough. Okay, so in here I can craft all my normal walls and things. Uh, we've got... Some statues, we've got some lamps and such. I can make the scoria walls in here, and we're gonna have to bring back some scoria from the volcanic zone. Did they get rid of cement in this game? Not like the bags of cement like for making things, but like I thought there were like cement building pieces. Did they go do those go away or is it just steel and glass I'm thinking of? It doesn't require water, water just speeds up the process. Alright, well there's that. I guess we can connect up some water to these things eventually. Uh, I need to make wire now, though, because we've got to run some wire for our little, uh, our fancy generator there. Uh, I'm assuming the wire's in here. No, it's not. Um, oh, is it over here? 
Yes, it is. Water piping tool, electricity tool. So I need gold wire, carbon fiber. I don't have any carbon fiber made. Uh, I need epoxy. Let's split that. I'm going to take 50 of these things out to this bench here to make the leather I wanted. Select recipe. Okay. Does it just automatically make one? Like, do I not get to choose how many I'm going to make? Does it just, I, or maybe just what works automatically and just makes as much as it can? In which case, I don't really want all that. We'll split this stuff off. It takes two sap per. We'll go that way. Still some men. I'm also uh, pretty sure there's a scoria deposit that's here in the plains biome. Oh, really? I don't think I've, I haven't come across that, but that's not to say that it's not there. I mean, the scoria is nice, I think, for the durability or whatever. I don't, I'm not really sold on the look of it. I was hoping to make like a cement, steel, and glass building, but um, I didn't see any option to make st um, steel and glass. Okay, so I need um, no, no, not steel and glass uh, to make the cement building pieces. We need um, 50 of these, so we're going to have to 10. Same thing with this. 10 of those. I'll make as much as I can. Yeah, I sort of figured we'd just sort of keep going. That's alright. I pulled out a bunch of the sap so that we wouldn't overdo it. Okay, wires are required. I need the uh, the carbon. Hey, where'd the other wire go? Did I not pick them up? Old school separate out. Either way, you waiting. Fox's first death by lava. Listen here, you. There'll be zero deaths by lava. All my deaths will be unrelated to lava. They'll be simply the cause of accidental interaction with molten rock. But no lava. Yeah, my bitrate kind of dipped a little bit. It's um, it's not awful, but it looks like I'm dropping a few frames. I'm sorry if everybody's uh, getting a little bit of janky internet there. Oh, I wish I could get uh, get fiber and just avoid the problem. Best I can do is cable internet, and it's not always the best. Twenty-two epoxy. I mean, why not? Clay bricks building pieces are very nice looking. Clay bricks. Where does one get clay bricks? Oh, okay. Clay brick walls. So I do have them unlocked. I might want to try that at some point. Death by combustion, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. GNS and his base is all steel, glass, and concrete. That's kind of what I want. I want to get to I want to get a, a point where I have a base like that. And then maybe just like have like brick accent walls or something in it, you know, just for the aesthetics of it. This base that we've been working in has done well for me so far, but it's getting kind of crowded for crafting benches because there's just so many crafting benches in this game. So it's getting a little crowded that way. Uh, and I would like just something that isn't sitting in the shadow of a cliff where it's going to constantly get dark all the time. Okay, it, the uh, the bitrate's not really recovering, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to quickly restart my PC. Well, we're back. Nothing like going from 240 people down to 20. That's uh, that's awesome. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Hopefully it should be smoother now. My bitrate looks like it's uh, nice and steady at the moment, so it should smooth out the stream for everybody. And a good time was had by, well, probably nobody. Okay. Let's make some of this carbon paste stuff. I need four of it, I think it said. Spiders launched a counteroffensive for their fallen comrades, Vox. Yeah, that's right. We're in a, we were in a pitched battle upstairs. There was web flying everywhere. All kinds of awful gore. Fortunately, we, we came out victorious on the other end. At least for now. I was waiting for the elevator music. 
Um, all right, so hold on. If uh, if you don't see the stream, you may need to refresh. Um, okay, so we got enough to make. Oh no, wait, I'm in the wrong spot. No oh, wait, 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 wait. It's gotta go in here. Hundred wooden powers activate. Why is it making gold? It should be making carbon paste into carbon fiber. There it goes. Cat can tonight. <laughs> uh, I don't know where. To, um, all right, hold on a second. Timber's sleeping on the dog bed down here. I can probably put the cat cam on. He's not doing anything interesting. He's just sleeping. But that pretty much describes like ninety percent of his existence. Hopefully that's not going to be in the way of anything down there in the bottom right. Poor guy's all tuckered out. That'll bring in the crowds, yeah. Hey look, it's a, it's a picture of a cat not moving or doing anything at all interesting. Wow! <laughs> oh, I need this. Okay, so we make our electricity tool now. I'm pretty sure I only need one of them. It's nighttime though, let's get some... Catch some Z's, we'll make it daytime so I can actually see what I'm doing. <laughs> the rest of my screen's in the way. <laughs> it's blocking the view with a cat. I can't see enough cat. Hey, Peter, how you doing? Alright. Start at the water wheel, I guess. Um, oh, they changed the way it like, collects stuff, too. Like, it was already collecting things before, but I thought there were like fewer spots for the stuff to get caught up in. Um, where do I connect the wiring on this thing? There we go. How far can I go before I have to create a little... Ooh, this is janky. Okay, this is not working at all. What is going on here? There we go. Doesn't like when you stretch it to the fullest extent of the cord, I guess. Actually, I should cross this over underneath the, the bridge here. We'll run it up the back of the building, maybe. If I create a couple nodes, it'll give me a couple connection points back here I can... And jack into when I want to hook something up. I'm thinking, like, at a minimum, we'll want to hook up things like lights. Okay, that didn't work. Still works. There we go. Concrete, I think you need to unlock modern slash industrial deco pieces. Well, I tried looking for it in the, um... Uh, in the list of stuff. What is it? The plans or whatever. The tech tree. I tried looking for it in the tech tree, but I figured that would be like tier 3 or tier 4. But there's like no real building pieces in tier 4. So it's not that. There's like, you can make, you know, like countertops and stuff here. Marble counters and things. Uh, and in tier 3...
like iron crates and stuff. This is where we got like the glass, steel, aluminum, scoria. I just don't see like, oh, there's concrete building set advanced there. Concrete building set base. Okay, so there are some here. There's just not like a concrete foundation piece. I think is what I was kind of looking for. So I do have it unlocked. I just, I don't know, whatever. Can you recovering from the great spider scary? Yeah, that's what it is. He's gotta, he's gotta get lots of rest. You know, them spiders are scary. <laughs> Uh, all right. I want some lights in here. I gotta figure out where to make lights. I've literally never used the electric lights in this game, but as long as I've got a like a water wheel power source, I might as well have some decent lighting. Uh, not in there. I guess it would make sense for it to be in this bench since uh, this one makes all the electrical stuff. All right. So we got uh, basic wall lights. We've got basic ceiling lights, flashlights. I gotta get some glass. Oh, lots of copper wire. Lots of iron ingots. Wow. Okay, we're gonna have iron problems, I think. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> I might be able to make, like, one basic light right now. <laughs> That's gonna be, like, it. I need 40 copper wire. And then glass, I had... What's the matter, buddy? You pooping? He's gotta be pooping. That's probably what it is. Oh, my cement mixer down? Yeah, the cement mixer's up here. I've got it in this corner here. Oh, yeah, I can make the concrete walls in here. I don't know why I didn't even look in here. That's weird. Concrete floors, concrete beams, concrete frame. Okay, it's all here. It's all good. We got it. I'll need to make steel rebar and stuff, but uh, I'm not in a rush to do that. I'm just thinking, like, the next building I make is going to be concrete and steel and glass. I'm trying to get something a little fancier looking than the shack that we've been living in. It might be a big shack, but it's still a shack. Um, I need glass. That is made in here with silica. Ooh. Wait a minute. Am I all out of silica? That's crazy. Wait. Have I got some in the bottle machine? Oh, wait. I got... We got glass. I don't need any glass at the moment. Uh, do they still have all caves respawning all ore nodes? Uh, honestly, I don't know. I think there's like a thumper you have to get to respawn the ore nodes, I thought. Encrypted sentinel. <laughs> I was thinking there would be like a, like a chandelier kind of light, but I guess not. So 15 ingots and 40 copper wire. Christian with a five dollar super chat. Fox, a scale of one to ten, what's your favorite beer? Hazy IPAs, or why is anything else the wrong answer? <laughs> I've really been favoring wheat beers lately, like uh, like an unfiltered wheat beer, like a like a Belgian Moon or a Blue Moon, I think it's called. Um, I like the Cronenberg eighteen eighty four Blanc or whatever. It's kind of what I've been favoring lately. Start over, got pizza. Let's go. Well, you missed the uh, you missed the big reboot. It was the most exciting part of the stream. I'm sorry. It's not something we can recreate. You had to be there for it. Oh wait, I put I know where I put all my iron. It's out here in my forge now. There we go. I got a little bit of iron. Not crazy amounts of iron. A little bit of copper too. I don't like that. That's far away now. That's going to be a nuisance. <laughs> well, I can make one. If I make 40 more wires, I can make a second one. Drinking fermented dirty water. I'm drinking tea right now. A little soothing on the throat. Wheat beer, you're a smart man. Thanks, Biggles. The blue moon with an orange slice? Yeah, me too. Me too. I just find them very refreshing. And tasty. I don't need something, like, thick and hoppy, I guess. I just crafted the wrong light. 
All right, two of them, because one of them wasn't good enough. I, I needed to make two of the wrong light. Crap, I'm gonna make more wiring. I want to put a ceiling light in. Ugh. Um, where's the wires? I guess it's still better than nothing, but not what I wanted it to do. We'll put one over here. And we'll put one over on the other side, I guess. I don't know how bright these are going to be. That's my only concern. If they're, like, glaringly bright, that might be kind of weird, you know? Okay, so I assume I can connect here and then go to the light. And then same thing over here. Connect there. Right into the light. Those don't look terribly effective. They're kind of dim. That's kind of depressing. Is there not like a... You can literally just turn them... Oh, they shine upwards more than anywhere, it seems like. It doesn't even shine down. It shines up. What's up with that? Hashtag disappointed. <laughs> uh, what if I... I'm gonna try moving it down lower and see what happens. Maybe it's better as like a floor light kind of thing. <laughs> now it shines down. You stupid light. Yeah, definitely not worth the materials. That is terrible. It's the torch does a better job. That's absurd. Okay, there's got to be different lights we can use that actually provide some degree of lighting because that is just flat out terrible. Put them on the floor. I wonder if we can put it on the floor. That's disappointing. All that work to get the stupid light, only to find out that it's worse than a basic torch. Why is it on a weird angle? That's... What does it put on the floor? It goes on a weird angle. That's super weird. Huh. Oh, now the weird... Nah, now the wiring goes weird. Hold on. That's not acceptable to me. It's, it's awful. If it'll go on the floor, maybe it'll go on the ceiling. Now I care about the weird one? Yes, I do. <laughs> it's gotta be aesthetically pleasing. Deploy. I'm assuming it will Oh, we'll go on the ceiling. Why does it go on a weird angle, though? That's so strange. Wall light my butt. I mean, it's better on the ceiling than on the wall. <laughs> yeah, the, the fire torches are definitely better. Deploy. Let's put, the, put it in a little bit farther and see if it makes a difference. That is sad, sad lighting right there. I don't like it at all. Disturbs me greatly. Okay, so 
on the ceiling, it's not actually that bad. I've got the other lights off in here. It, it casts a reasonable amount of light from the ceiling. It's just... If you don't shine it onto an object, the game just makes everything super shadowed. So... I guess you could just cover your ceiling in those things and your lighting would be alright. It just... Still feels a little nicer with the torches on, though. You know? I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. Ceiling version, you can make. Uh, yeah, you can make that's better. Okay, so I did. Uh, I did make some more copper wire so we could whip up ceiling lights. Um, need more glass. Craft one of those for now. Might as well see what it looks like before I go all in. So we'll put a ceiling one over here. See what this is like. Oh, that's weird. Um. I can't connect to the existing connection? What's going on there? How does that work? Can I not, like, branch off of that thing? No. Maybe it has to do with the amount of power. Uh, no, it, it, it literally wasn't connected. So I think I actually have to, like... I have to bring a node in and then... Connect from this node out? Yeah. There we go. Oh, that is a little better. Okay, the ceiling, ceiling lights are better. That's actually pretty well lit now. I can make do with that. That's pretty decently lit. Now we need some for upstairs. Get some more glass out of here. Mm. We put one up there anyway. Or maybe I should put the uh, the other one over in this area of the building, because it's kind of dark over here. Uh, the problem is, this is a sloped ceiling. I wonder if I put it up high, how well it'll shine down. And also whether I can even run a wire up there from here. This might be problematic. Hold on. I need... I uh, need some of this action. I don't know if I can place the ramp here very well. Can't get a sideways ramp here. <laughs> that might be fine. Yeah, this will work. Okay, um, so I need my electrical node. I'll run that up here. <laughs> now the problem is going to be interacting with it to turn it on. <laughs> Come on. There we go. All right, that's all right. That's certainly better than it was. It's something. It's not everything, but it's something. Fox's house is an ocean inspector's nightmare. Yeah, pretty much. That's what happens when you live in the wilderness, you know? You gotta make do. You gotta make your own rules. You know, old truck with no ocean around here. I thought I just heard the horse, but I don't see it. <laughs> I think it might be in the ground. I 100% heard the horse. Where is it? There it is. Found you, buddy. You're saved. What are you doing down here? Poor horsey McHorse face.
I wonder how we got down there. <laughs> and I also wonder how I can get him out of the water. There we go. Let's go, Horsey McHorse Face. You can do this. Oh, God, I forgot how janky the horse is. Oh, I gotta eat, too. Hold on. There we go. You're in. Go have a snack, buddy. You deserve it. You've been stranded down there in the water all this time. Poor guy. Okay. Platinum Axe is what I would like. Um... I gotta get that cured leather. I've been slumming it with the terrible axes, and I need uh, I need one that's a little better. Could probably make a platinum pickaxe too, I guess, while I'm at it. Oh wait, I gotta have coal. Crap, forgot my coal. cancel it. <laughs> it's like they're cute. There we go. Now it's going. Uh, maybe, oh, we don't have enough to make a platinum pickaxe. I didn't have enough ingots. That's alright. We got the axe, though, which is the most important, because I had just a basic uh, iron axe. So, I finally got a decent axe going. Ask me no questions, I'll tell you no lies. Uh, I wanted to make some flooring in here. For the interior. I think I need like 13. Start with 10, I guess. That's right, horsing around as usual. I'm watching your K 2 series and wanted to ask if you wanted some birthday cake to use as a bomb. Ah, oh, the birthday cakes are awesome, except <laughs> I've I have never successfully used one because I always tried to use them in a stupid situation. <laughs> and they just it was a horrible disaster. I'm sure used properly, they're pretty awesome, but uh, I am apparently uh, not mentally fit to be an adult, and um, I can't use them right. Oops. Uh, okay. I'm gonna go to Interior Woods. This is... Must repair first. This is one of my favorite things about... The building in uh, Icarus. It's the ability to like swap to upgraded materials without having to pick up the original. Why is some of this stuff flooring in your damage? That makes no sense. I I had some misfires with my weapon. Oh, I'm out already. That was quick. Uh, all right, so let's uh, destroy. That gets me 100 wood I can take into here to make more refined wood, and my stuff is under attack. Who is it? Who's attacking and where? <laughs> oh, there you are. You're welcome. Have a good swim. Much better. You know, actually, now that I, now that I've got at least three lights in here, this electrical lighting is actually working pretty good. I like, I like how it looks now. It's a little bit more even, evenly distributed light. You know, I gotta get some up here though. Maybe we could even put some on like the roof up there. I don't know. I don't know. See, yeah, the infamous aqua hyena. You know, that's right. Uh, it takes a little bit for this thing to make. Refined wood, unfortunately. Um, I wish it would go faster. I don't think this is one of those things that I can plug water into to make it go quicker. Can you plug water into the machining bench? Which, which is the bench that you can actually hook water into? Is it this one? Not that, I don't think. 
Oh, it's this one. I can plug water into the advanced masonry bench and it'll go quicker. Is there an advanced crafting bench? Next to with the lightning uh, twi uh, strike twice, now third time's a charm. Yeah, so I saw um, Gun Nerds and Steel posted an achievement where you got struck by lightning in Icarus. <laughs> I took a screenshot of my uh, the achievement I got for getting hit twice by lightning and sent it to uh, sent it as a response. Alteration bench, advanced text. Do I have an alteration bench somewhere? Steel barred windows. I'm gonna build both of those. Ooh, I should make an aquarium. Ice borer, the recipe. Oh, okay. Cave scanner, don't care about that so much. I feel like I have an alteration bench somewhere. I just gotta figure out where I stuck it. Oh, it's right there. Yeah, okay, so we've got supplemental respiration attachment. Helps prevent pneumonia and improves health regeneration while in caves. Oh, yes, please. Um, proceed to alter item. Oh, I got a... What have I got on my helmet? Do I have anything on this thing? Oh, wait, or did we find out that I couldn't actually modify this thing? That might have been the problem. We'll check, but I think I'd made that and then realized I couldn't modify my helmet. Place an item in the slot above to access attachments. Yeah, there's no no attachments available there. Yeah. Okay, so none none for the armor because it's from the station, I guess. That sucks. Said I said I can't modify station armor. Yeah. I think you could hook water into the generator too. Uh, I mean, if you could, what could possibly go wrong? Well, the, it's just a water wheel thing, but so no water connection there. Yeah, it looks like it's just the masonry bench, but I know I saw something else that had a water connection available. Maybe it was up in the kitchen area. Maybe not. Not that thing. Oh, this here does. The cement mixer can have a water connection as well. Can I even make a pump? What's it take to make a water pump? Concrete mix takes a or is it a thousand electricity? How much electricity am I using right now? Will this show me? That requires 150. So I'm using uh, what 450, and I think the water wheel produces 2,000. Yeah, that produces 2,000. I'm using 450 of it. Put it to bed for a water bed. <laughs> So theoretically, if we made a water pump, we could make those uh, two benches faster. Not that I'm, I'm not using them so much right now, so it's not really a priority, but seems an option exists there anyway. Uh, all right, we need to make sure I've got, I'm stocked up for food. I've got uh, a light on me. We're gonna need the sledgehammer wherever I left that. I think I might have left that in the forge actually. If we're gonna get our hands on some scoria, we're gonna want that. There's the sledge. Good old iron sledge. How's this coming along? Oh my god, this takes so long. I need uh, one, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine. I need at least nine of those things. Like seven floors and two ramps, basically. And the floor pieces take 20 a piece. That's 140 right there. I'll do the floors at least first. Stop, clear queue. Make the seven of those. <laughs> this stream requested by the Cult of Ashley? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a lathe? Wait, can I make a lathe? There's no lathe in here. Oh yeah, so we've got the electric furnace, we've got uh, materials processor, we need that. 
I need, that's part of what I needed the power for. But I see how it requires titanium plates, and I can't make those because I don't have titanium. Uh, nor can I make the hunting rifle because of the titanium. The electric refrigerator requires aluminum. I could make this, but I don't think I have the aluminum. I'll have to find some of that. That'd be a nice thing to have. Heavy heaters and air conditioners I don't care about so much. I should try making a solar panel, but I think the composites need to be made in the metals processor, or the material processor, so that's a, that's a no-go. The chemistry bench, also with the composites. Electric composter. Electric masonry bench. I just made the advanced masonry bench. Electric carpenter bench, again with the composites. Electric deep mining drill. Advanced alteration bench, I haven't got that yet. I need a lot of steel, though, I don't have. Composite dropship recall beacon. Uh, organic residue cleanser? What the heck is that? I don't even know what that does. Prototype thumper. We got the deep freeze. Deep freeze would be actually really handy for storing food. The foundry. The titanium plates that too. So lots of stuff to make here, but uh, powered creature deterrent would be nice also. But again, I need I need other things. Okay, so we'll try to get some stuff. Acrytic Fox, the chat. I uh, see he's really built up his house more. Yeah, I mean I've uh, I mean. I've kind of been I've been adding to this over time. I haven't really added to the the building structure so much as I've just been putting in more benches. I want to move. I want to go to a different area, but I'm just not I'm not ready to do that yet because I want to get uh, I want to get my next building made out of cement and stuff. Okay. Swap this to interior wood. This is lighter colored too, so it like lightens up the room already. Makes it a little bit brighter just by having a lighter colored floor. That looks way lighter now. Very nice. Uh, I need two of the ramps still, but I don't know if I have enough materials. Nope. <laughs> I'm short by like... A little bit. <laughs> Short by five. Interior decorating with Cryptic Fox. Why don't we actually build a proper house instead of this thing? Because then we gotta like, th with all the decor items they've added to the game, we're gonna have to try to do like, proper decor. They've, they've got like, uh, these fancy shelves and bookcases and stuff now, and... Yeah, I can scrap the floors I just placed too. I'll destroy these. Uh, zero. Is this Spartan? What's going on here? Why is that not upgrading? Not working. Super weird. Okay, oh, well, something didn't work right there. Something's weird. The heck, man? Are the interior wooden ramps at a different angle than the uh, than the exterior ones? What happened there? Oh my god! Get wrecked, jerk! I, can't, I literally can't do anything. What's going on here? Why can't I stab? Oh my god, I'm getting I'm gonna get killed by these things. Get me out of the freaking water. And a crocodile too. 
can't jump or anything. Get me out of the freaking ground! There we go. I was crouched or something. I don't know what's going on. God dang! I almost died! That was ridiculous! Little jerk. I'm bleeding out too. Um. Fortunately, I just happened to have a suture kit on me. Didn't like that in the snow, did ya, you jerk? <laughs> Look at him sticking all out front. I don't remember when I made these, but I'm carrying them around forever. I figured I might as well use them. That's cheating! That's cheating! Oh crap, I broke my own stuff. <laughs> Why? Come on! Seriously? That's crazy. He like came through the ground on me. Maybe it was all the spears in the nose. It gave him some sort of weird tunneling superpowers or something. I gotta get my stuff back. That sucked. Back off, Gator. Nobody's got time for you. What the? I swear to God. <laughs> Just like dropped it on this guy next to me. Yeah, yeah, I thought so, you crocodile jerk face son of a pony lover. Perfect timing to join. Well, welcome to the stream. That sounds like my horse is being attacked. What is with this place? Oh, he was so close to being dead. How do I heal him? <laughs> I wanna... Uh, let's get rid of this. All the way down to 4%. I, I, I've got to do something about the critters around here. I, I I haven't been making the deterrent, and I I guess I really need to. <gasps> no! Daisy, no! Wow. You're going to die, bird. You're gonna die. Three <laughs> percent. It'd be great if I hit him with that shot. <laughs> Get off the body. That's my body. Crap. Sorry, Daisy. You were a good, completely useless pet who stood around and didn't do anything, but your time has come. So much for that. Maybe you're supposed to put higher walls to keep your pets safe? Yeah, remember that? <laughs> Clearly, uh, I didn't do a good job of that. Oh, this thing's out of fuel, too. That was noisy. 
So he's eating and he is healing, but I'm worried about these death bird things. Those things are mean, man. Maybe I should be putting a roof over this area. I wonder if they'll swoop in under the roof to attack him. Is that a thing? But if I put a roof over this, does that then make this not work? Because it's got shelter over it? That would kind of suck. I guess I could move it. <sighs> Roofed stable? Hello! Yeah, I know, but just... the heck was that attack? I think it was going after the other body of the other Deathwing. Let's get rid of that body. Come on! I heard the dive bomb coming. Yeah, they're all over the place now. Don't worry, buddy. We're just using you as bait. It's fine. Make the simple animal deterrent? Yeah, I gotta see where to make that. Um, that one so that, that one requires what, like rotted meat or something? No, it's not in there. No, I literally. Oh, the horse is getting hurt again! Oh my god, I I forgot I pulled the stairs out. <laughs> He's at six percent. I just need like an auto turret when those things fly in to like gun them down, you know? Sure that'll work. Stupid thing. Uh either build a turret or enclosed stable, either way I would still build an enclosed stable. I probably should put a roof over this thing, I just haven't done it yet. All right. Um, where do I make the deterrent, though? There it is. That's the advanced creature deterrent. That one requires aluminum electronics and stuff. I don't have all that right now. What about in here? No. Is it crafted just in my inventory? What is going on right now? You can make a simple stone biome to put the horse in it. Yeah, I, I could do like, like a simple stone structure too, but again, I'm lazy. Oh my god, the fire is out downstairs. I really wish they would do away that with that particular requirement. It'd be nice if they had some other way of determining whether you could sleep or not, like... I don't know, if you're in shelter or something. Or if you're in shelter but the temperature's fine, like it doesn't have to have a fire, but as long as you've got like warm temperatures. Okay, here's the other question. Where did that other ramp go that I made? I made two interior wood ramps and I only have one here. Oh, I know why that didn't fit right. I had used a different type of ramp to get like a 30 degree angle. That's probably why I couldn't swap it out either. Because um, otherwise you end up like this really steep angle. I guess I could just do stairs here. If I can get it to actually work right. I'll do stairs and then we'll just put a regular floor here. 
instead of the ramp that I had before. Wasn't really a necessity. I'm sure I made like I'm sure I made more of those things, but Oh there they are, the half wood pitches. That's what they were, half wood pitches. Creature turns in the textile bench. Oh, thanks. There's too many benches in this game. I swear to God. Textiles bench. Uh, deterrent. There it is. Thank you. Wow, it requires all kinds of stuff. Cloth head armor, cloth arm armor. I don't have those things. <laughs> I need more fiber. I went for trying today, I'm telling you. Everything I try to do is just falling flat on my face right now. Time to find a new place to live. Yeah, I really do need to move. <laughs> I've been saying that for a long time, but... I've got this base build here, so like I'm just not in a rush to do it, I guess. Uh, 20 stone, 25 wood, 23 sap. Spoiled meat will be the problem. I don't know that, I don't know that I have any of that anywhere. I'll have to see. Um, let's take the stone and the wood here. Oops. <laughs> Forgot about that. Let's get that floor made, too. Uh, oh, and tree sap I needed, too, right? Ah, crap! I used all the tree sap out of there. What about here? Pfft, I used all that, too. Dang it. The reverse Midas touch. Yeah, that's me. They call me anti-Midas. Look at the skinning bench for spoiled meat. Did I have some in there? Oh, I do. Nice. Sweet. Or maybe not sweet. Probably a little more, you know, repugnant. Okay, simple creature deterrent crafted. Victory is mine. Now I'm assuming I'm gonna have to fuel this thing. I wonder what the I wonder what the area of effect is for this. Hold access fuel. Oh, I can put spoiled plants in here, too. Fuel time. Six hours, 14 minutes of real-world time. So that's pretty good, actually. Hopefully that'll keep them away for a little bit. This guy's almost healed. Oh, no, he's at 10%. Ooh, that's not good. Um... How do I feed him? This big bald spot with the super chat. Contact to you about your base's expired warranty. Yeah. I knew I should have got the extended warranty. Oops. Gotta fix that. Don't want people getting upset. There we go. Okay, so it's a little brighter in here with a nicer flooring. We got a little bit of electric light. Perhaps we may get a hint of how it looked so many years ago with a little illumination. Uh, I need food. Let's cook up some of that. Actually, what can I make upstairs? I should have... Oh, wait, I might even have some things in the fridge. Oh, we got lots of meat in the fridge. Lots of meat. We got some spoiled meat in here, too. 
More fuel for the dummy out there. Spoiled veggies, too. Um, if I take some of this, I can make fruit salad. I'll whip up a few of those suckers. Um, what can I make that's going to be a little bit more sustaining? Cooked white meat. Barb stew, chunky vegetables, boiled kumara. And we got so many different food options now. I don't really want to go through all the trouble of making pastries and stuff. That's too much of a pain in my butt. Put food in the hot bar, you can feed it from there. Okay. Um, I gotta make like a feed for that though, don't I? I gotta make fruit salad there too. Oh man, look at all the rot I have in here. That's spoiled meat for days. Maybe even weeks. Creamed corn? Do I have some corn? I don't have any corn. I'm all out of corn. That sucks. I had to run out of corn. I had all kinds of corn. Maybe it wasn't in the... Uh... Crap, it may not have had it in the fridge. Houston, we have a problem. Let can go back in here. I can go in there. Oh my god, there's so much crap on me right now. I gotta I gotta ditch some stuff. I got I got too much crap on me right now. Get rid of all that. Why am I not using my watering thing? That's weird. Oh, because I died, right. <laughs> there we go. Oxygen and hydration solved for again. You can feed the watermelons and other fruits and veggies. Oh, can I? Watermelons? Alright. Let's see, let's see how watermelon does. It's not really healing him much, is it? So I guess, uh, maybe he heals when his food's at 100%? Yeah, it's healing a little bit anyway. Is it 17, 18? Alright, it's, it's gradually healing. I don't know. Whatever. He's slow anyway. It's kind of a nuisance. I gotta get some, like, buff food or something for him. It's Houston, you're on your own, Fox. What? I do have some plants that have spoiled in my garden out there, too. You're right. Uh, I had... Actually, let's put it in here. I had that excess sap for some reason. I need something else I can make that's going to be a decent food. I could make, uh, if I had bottles, I could make some more... Some more beer. I must have wheat somewhere. I got more, more spoiled. I, mean, I got spoiled meat all over the place. Oh, there's corn right there. I'm so dumb. Um, what do we need to make the cream corn then? Water, of course. <laughs> oh, good. We're sick. I should make a water skin just for the purposes of cooking. Okay, 10 cream corn, and I'll just make some basic meat, I guess, for the last one. I don't have anything better at all. Well, I've got, actually, I've got some of this other, these other fillets. Cooked white meat gives uh, 100 max stamina, 150 health versus... 75 max health. Okay, so well, that's raw meat, though. No, cooked meat. Yeah, 75 health. So if I have white meat, that gives a better, better result. Raw meat, raw meat, saltwater fish. I mean, I actually have raw. Ah, I don't have any white meat. 
We got three. Three white meat. Woo! Oh, crap. I don't have fuel. <laughs> Okay. Canned carrots are pretty good. I need uh, bottles for that, right? Pickled carrots. I should have carrots around, I think. 150 max stamina, 20% projectile damage, 20% shared experience. I don't care about the experience part of it. I mean, the max stamina is pretty good, but that whitefish is pretty awesome. Not whitefish, the white meat. Max stamina and max health is kind of a nice boost. Let's get ready for our journey. I'm gonna go try and get to the volcano lands today. And now I've already spent like <laughs> an hour and a half like messing around at my house here. Let's go find some volcano stuff. Volcanic business. Um, oh, actually, you know what? I think I have my travel get kit in here. Yeah. Okay, so I've got all these things to build my little travel shelter and a way to make a save point. Um. Oh, I got the workshop repair kit bundle. I gotta get, uh, what do I need for this to use it? Needs a repair bench. I gotta build a repair bench. Fix my armor whip with it. Stack them together. Without any extra abilities, you should be able to stack three food to drink. Huh? What you talking about, Willis? Yeah, I'm gonna be stacking fruit salad, cream corn, and then the, the white meat. At least that's the plan. Um, I've got my shelter. I've got all this stuff. I don't actually know what's going to be required of the... Oh, I'm going to need wood. Um, I don't know what's going to be required to survive in the volcanic area. I haven't really dealt with that. This will be my first time going to the where the, vol where the volcanic stuff is. What the heck? Exotic meteor shower incoming. It doesn't show on my map where they land. So there was one over the hill towards that way, but I don't know how far away that was. Sweet. Hopefully years of playing, the floor is lava will come in handy. You know what's interesting about the, uh, the exotic meteor shower? Is that the entire reason for exotics existing on this planet, according to the lore of the game, was a function of what happened in the terraforming process? So how did the meteors become the source? <laughs> like, they've got them set up there as a as a, a way to replenish the exotics on the planet, but oh, cat left. All right, uh, we'll turn that off for now. I can get this bright light out of my face. There we go. Oh, that's way better. Jeez. Anyway, let's sleep and make it daytime. I think he wandered off to eat. He headed off in search of food. <laughs> He's like, I've had enough of this stream. Get me out of here. The whole question, it's space. Um, all right. What do I need? I got food. I've got water. My oxygen's okay. That lasts a really long time. Um, I'm going to save the better food for when I really need it. I'll go that way. I've got some wood. I've got stuff. I'm assuming there's probably a hard to get wood out there. Let's see how it goes. Maybe along the way we'll find that exotics deposit. What's my carry out now? 62. Wait. How do I make food for my horse? 
Is there like a feed or something? Seed animal feed. Plus 125 max stamina. Oh, if I had wheat on me. It might be worth taking the horse if I could actually get better stamina out of it. I just find that it runs out of stamina so fast. Uh, this wheat is not looking so great. <laughs> Well, I had lots of weed at one point. How much for that? Is he getting hurt again? What's going on? What's your beef? You got food, you've got water, nothing's hitting you. God, he's such a whiner. Uh, I got seeds from fiber for the feed since you get so much of it. Oh, that's true. I forgot I could use those. Um, but it doesn't really matter because like, I need the wheat, right? Yeah, I, one way or another I gotta get wheat, so it's fine. I'm gonna leave him behind. His lack of stamina is just gonna be a pain in my butt. Uh, I do need a, a replacement torch. Oh, there's a little bit of wheat. How much of that feed can I make? <laughs> One. One animal feed. Wouldn't that be great? It seems one space in the stomach. That's it. One measly animal feed. Whatever. I'll leave that behind. <laughs> I'm not breaking him. That's too much of a pain. Until I get more, anyway. Build him a safe place to live. Yeah, he's fine the way he is for now. I'll get him one, eventually. Either that or he'll die, and we'll get the one for the next one. <laughs> Equal opportunity... Whatever's. Um... I wanna... Oops. Yeah. Okay, I want a replacement torch so I have a backup. Uh, eight sticks and fiber. Oh, there were some in there. Make two backup torches. Dang it. Oh, the interweb's pooching out again. Come on, internet. With your luck, the horse will go swimming in the lava. That 100% would be my luck. I would probably just leave it outside the zone, but then it would get killed by something. Some wild animal would come along and kill it off on me or something. All right, we got backup torches. Let's just go. If I don't go now, I'm not going at all. I'm gonna wind up finding other reasons to delay. Also, now they have a seed pouch you can make for the seeds to save you inventory room. Oh, that's handy. I should make one of those. What the heck? Those are called Terranus? I guess I never really looked at the name of them. Huh. If he was a cat named Timber, he would have a safe place to live. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Timber definitely likes it around here. Enough that we can leave the, the back door open and he won't even try to go out. Oh, I thought, it, I thought it was this rock that was smoking. I was like, oh, we found it already? But no, it's an enzyme geyser. I should probably make one of those, I guess. I haven't gathered any enzymes. I wonder if it would be easier to see where the rock landed at night. Because the exotics have that, like, funky glow to them, right? I think it's, 
It's got to be more... If I'm going to bump into it at all, it's got to be more northward. I'll probably use a scanner. Oh well. Oh, I missed. He's laughing at me. Rude. <laughs> Shut up, goat boy. You need to put a teleport system in the game so you don't need to run across the entire map. Yeah. Or I just wish they had, like, a... Uh... It'd be fun to cross the map if you had, like, a dirt bike or something to do it with, and you could, like, jump off of stuff or whatever. And I wouldn't mind it then. They did put mounts in the game, but it's just not the same, you know? Everything has a funky glow at this point. Well, everything's got a purple in this area. Weird. I don't want that arrow back, sir. I've only got 45 arrows left, and I don't really know what I'm up against in this upcoming biome. Seems like they have this stuff too much to do, and it's easy to be distracted. Yeah, and I'm easily distracted in the first place, so... You know, this is what it is. Oh, hey, buddy. <laughs> Who's back? Only this time he's like, I'm done sleeping on the on the bed, man. Now I'm taking up your space. Your your room is my room. Hey buddy. How you doing? Nope. Stream close up. Uh yeah, I hear you. You're fine, buddy. How you doing? It's getting comfortable. <laughs> it's my microphone. I think whoever came up with the planes uh, was a big Jimi Hendrix fan. <laughs> because of all the purple. The purple haze everywhere. The purple haze is in my brain. Can you train one of the big birds? Yeah, the Loa you can train as well. They apparently run really fast now. I, I seem to recall when I first tried it out, I was disappointed with the speed that it moved at. But uh, apparently they're pretty quick. You can train the buffalo if you want something that has like a high carry capacity. Hey, friend. It's my face you're sniffing. Crazy sniff, face sniffer. Cat ASMR. <laughs> did you did you hear meow? Any meow? Oh wait a minute. Don't I have exotics drill going here somewhere? What the heck was that exotics drill? I think it was back here. Ow! There it is. I should have brought fuel. Is this thing tapped out now? It's not exactly glowing anymore. I think we tapped it out. She's empty. Yeah, these they have fuel. Yep, that's empty. Cleaned it out. I'll leave those there for now. I'll we'll have to get them later. <clears throat> those are the fastest, especially if you're feeding them the pet food. The Loa? Yeah. I'm going with two feet and a heartbeat and my uh, modifier things that give me a speed boost. <laughs> Ankle snap. Oh. 
Well, this thing's seen better days too, doesn't it? Where's my, uh... Yeah, I do have a hammer, but it's good. Probably should have made these out of stone. It'll do, though. Man, he does not like to jump very well. How do I get you better in focus there, cat? There you go. He's licking my hand. <laughs> Timber reaches for Fox Mug. Not allowed! I do want to bring some clay back, but if I'm going to be going someplace that I might have to bring, like, scoria or something, I probably shouldn't be doing that right now. I'll end up filling up my inventory and then I won't have any ability to carry anything. Viscid, or Viscid, whatever it is. Oh, there's another geyser here. Need to go to the mines of Scoria. <laughs> ah, I'm not a dwarf. <laughs> I said no close-up, snap at me. Yes, master. Got a bit of a long road to haul here. I'm gonna be going farther into this swamp than I've been before. Gaming guys are the best, aren't they, until they fall asleep anyway? Well, he's on my desk, fortunately, so it all works out fine. <laughs> he does tend to get in the way, though. He likes to rub his head on my microphone or whatever. He's, I think he's content just to be sitting here right now, though. Until he thinks he hears the dog. Needler. Needler. Don't need a needler right now. Jeez. Oh, How about you don't do that, sir? I got the needle sticking out of me. Ooh, white meat. I forgot about that. Uh, okay. Take it all. I don't know why I'm having to ditch stuff along the way, I bet. Hey, Queens, how you doing? Happy Friday! Thank God it's Friday.
the size of that tree? A freaking monster tree. Makes me want to build a tree fort. Picked up some of those toxic items. Were those toxic? Delicate substance often found coating creatures that inhabit the areas of the swamp. This one doesn't say it's toxic. I think we're all right. Out of the way, Ubis. That was a warning shot. Ah! Ah! I was, I was joking! Jesus! I didn't think they were aggressive. <laughs> oh, it hurt me too. These are the ones that are, uh, are toxic. We don't want to carry those around. God dang, man. I didn't think those things were aggressive. I don't know why. And I learned something today. That I'm not very bright sometimes. Expecting the snow. Ah, uh, the snow. It's been really cold here the last couple days. We might get snow too. I am not a I'm not thrilled by this. Chop it down, the tree. Just give it a little whack. I think most things are aggressive to try to stab them with the arrow of death. I didn't stab it though. I just I issued threats and insults and it took the aggressive stance of attacking me. Remember Nicarus, you taste like chicken. Alright, this is probably true. Can't really deny that. Uh we're gonna have to chop our way through here. Chop chop chaparoo. A lot of brambles, man. I think I walked through some and hurt myself. I'm like cloth ripping. Skin for the miasma, you'll want it later. Oh, Alright. I haven't done anything with the miasma yet. Mmm, bacon. Oh, my inventory's full. I said what? Oh, I've got these fiber seeds on. We don't need those. Um, I could probably get rid of the raw meat. I got a lot of that back home. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. I definitely don't need that much fiber. Oh my god, cat. This fur and stuff is probably going to go completely to the waste, but I'll just carry it for now. We made it finally. Welcome to the cooling, soothing, volcanically lava active land things. I don't even know what's over here that I have to worry about. Aside from lava. I mean, the lava seems pretty obvious. Oh, what are you? Ah, we found the score, yeah. This wasn't quite what I was expecting to get Scoria from. Especially since it just dropped down into the ground there and I can't get it. That's fun. Bite. I don't want to bite timber. Bite timber, bite. I, I am not biting my cat. I'm sorry. That's not happening. And he doesn't read, so you're obviously not talking to him. Well, that's annoying. It rolled into the ground where I can't get it. And that's clearly not breaking. 
Well, I lost some Scoria. Okay, so this is my first time in the volcanic area. Um, I anticipate problems, but what I'm really here for is titanium. I don't know why I'm wasting my storage capacity on this stuff, but... That is so annoying. It drops into the ground where you can't even pick it up. Probably eat some of the better food now. That better stamina. Come on. Not like this. It's right there. I can literally see it. I can't pick it up. That's so annoying. Well, there's still rabbits over here. I assume I don't want those things to poop on me. Oxide and noxious crust sulfur. Yeah, I don't need that. Look at those floating things, they're like a uh, weird flying sky jellyfish that drops some toxic crap on you. Uh, ooh, there's a cave right there. That's what we're here for. Silica. Look at the lava, man. How hot does it get over here? Okay, that gets pretty hot. Let's not go over there. <laughs> Ashen billows weather event. Incoming ash storm. Yeah, we, we're definitely going to want to go in that cave. I don't think I brought ramps to get out of here. Soothing sulfur bath. I wonder what this ash storm is going to look like. Okay, that's a cave right there, I think. Yep. I'm on the hunt specifically for titanium, but I'll probably grab some aluminum while we're here too, because I, I need more of that. There was... Oh yeah, we got a few titanium nodes in here. Okay. Uh, I don't need the stone, that can go. Uh, I don't need the fur. I don't need that much leather. The bone I'll hold on to for now. I should probably cook up some of this more white meat, so we got that as an option. Oh, I didn't repair my pickaxe. That's not good. <laughs> I love how some of it gets smelted automatically. Rock and roll! I got an achievement for mining all the ores. I guess they must have added that after I had already done it before. The bright side, the studio saved a tidy $25 keeping that bug in the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Should 
should build my new home here in the lava zone. Wouldn't that be interesting? Why does your house smell like sulfur? Oh, that's just the sulfur in the air. Don't worry about that. Toxic fumes? Psh, you're in a suit anyway. What, are you gonna get pneumonia or something? <laughs> That's platinum. I probably could use more platinum. I forgot. Uh, well, let's put the fire down here. Maybe I'll grab the platinum while I'm here, too. The trick will be, like, how am I going to deal with the extremely hot temperatures? I was sort of hoping the suit with the canteen would do a pretty good job, but it looked like it got, like, crazy hot when you get over by the lava. I, w I wonder if there is a, um, it's probably a craftable suit of armor that's better, right? Hunter chest armor, leather, is it tier 4, maybe? Obsidian? Plus 25% heat resist on the obsidian armor. But I need obsidian for that, which I don't have. I can't even unlock these. Why is that? Hmm. Composite armor gives 10% uh, heat resist. What's the stuff that I'm using now have? 30% heat resist. I mean, this stuff's already pretty good. It's already better than the obsidian. With that coffee, wouldn't be making pneumonia jokes just saying. Yeah. <laughs> Said to my wife the other day, I was like, watch, it'll turn out I have walking pneumonia or something. This looks like the electric textile bench is learned. Ah, uh, that's, yeah, that's probably why. Um, but it looks like this stuff has lower heat resist anyway than the armor I'm already wearing. So this one gives 15 heat resist. The helmet I'm wearing gives 6. Okay, so there is some stuff that actually has better... Better heat resist on it. Just not the chest piece. This one gives 25. The chest piece I'm wearing gives 30. The legs give 15, and the ones I'm wearing have... 16, so that's already better. It, there must be something that can give me better heat resist. <laughs> Nothing else I want to grab here. I'm not worried about the gold at all with that deposit right by my house. I wonder if I should set my spawn point in here. Just in case. Set bonus is better on the uh on the obsidian. Set bonus plus 25% volcanic exposure resistance. I see. Ah, I sneezed and, sneezed and scared the cat off. <laughs> He's a little flighty. So, like, I'm good over here. Alright, so this thing has a set bonus uh, that doesn't have anything to do with volcanic, obviously. So, I guess the obsidian is the stuff to get. 
I'm not actually sure where to get the obsidian. I need composites for that though, as well as platinum weave. So I definitely will need that platinum. Twenty-five percent of you will be left after you burn to death in the lava. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. That's how much of your body will be remaining. <laughs> it turns out I didn't have the high ground. Uh, this is not aiming very well. Ah, the camera's sliding. The uh, stupid cord's kind of a nuisance. Not really made for this. Volcanic resistance on the obsidian set. Yeah, so I gotta get obsidian. Where does one get obsidian from? I'm gonna assume it's somewhere here in the. Oh, I should cook up the bacon too, maybe. What's the bacon give me when cooked? Experience gain, max stamina. That's actually not very good. But it is bacon. I'll leave it there. Where am I? Throw out a marker there so I know where that cave is. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get anywhere in here. I'm seeing it's a volcanic glass, so I'm assuming it's with a lava field somewhere. Yeah, like I, I, I'm, like I would think there would just be like a deposit of obsidian. Oh, there's another cave. Nice. I may end up having to ditch everything and go back. I got pneumonia too. Good times. Interesting to see how Ashlands are going to be in Valheim. Yeah, I've I've really had the itch lately to re like replay Valheim from the beginning again. I didn't kill the um, the Mistlands boss yet. Whatever that is. But I just had the itch to start off like a fresh playthrough of it. Time is a problem, though. So, like, later on this month, there's uh, a new game coming out on, like, the 24th. It's called uh, Enshrouded. I'm going to want to play that. And then Nightingale is supposed to come out next month. Those two things will consume a whole bunch of time for me. Look how much stone I picked up in that little amount of time. That's nuts. This cave is a little bigger. I don't care about your trophy. I just wanted my arrow back. Sulfur deposit. Silica deposit. Not that I have my uh, my drills here or anything, but. Finish these on Frozen Lengthy Scroll of Unfinished Games. Yeah, but here's the thing about gaming on YouTube. If something's doing terribly, and I'm not super into, like, feeling super into the game, I don't really feel compelled to finish it because it's detrimental to me. Sometimes I'll do it anyway, just if I'm, if I'm super into the game and I really want to play it, but... I still gotta find time to finish recording uh, Alan Wake 2. I haven't finished that yet. Even though it's doing terribly. <laughs> I'm not streaming it anymore because it's doing so bad, but... I like, murdered my channel in November. 
Had a brutal November, December. It was all a titanium, man. Depleted. We'd love to see you dig uh, into the Valheim construction mechanics like you did with that mountain base, but I can see that would be tough for viewership. Oh, actually, so, I mean, the viewership was alright when I was doing a lot of Valheim before, but um, it was when the game was newer, and so it was driving a lot of good viewership. Every game has its own time frame, you know, like where it starts to, like, trail off. It's also about like whether I feel like I have creative ideas to keep going with. I think we brought backup torches. Um, there is oh, one titanium node in this whole cave. It's terrible. Oh, shoot, that was the stuff I threw on the ground. Like, why are there just, like, lumps of stone here? I thought it was from the critter that came up out of the ground, but... Nope, that was my own littering. Iron, iron... There was only one titanium node in this cave. That bites. We got gold. There's more platinum up there. Let's get some, uh... Some of these things out here. Actually, I should see if... Will the iron pickaxe work on platinum? Nope. So I'm gonna have to leave soon anyway. My pickaxe is toast. The iron pickaxe won't work on this stuff. That's fun. There's titanium up there. Still waiting for you to finish the day before. Nice. <laughs> Darkfield has updates the but no one wants to stream it, so what's up with that? Um it's not even with Starfield. It's not even that I don't want to play the game anymore. I kind of do, but I just I kind of I I got out of the habit of playing it. I played it a whole bunch when it first came out, and then uh, I got distracted by other games. This is what I do. I can't get aluminum with that either. All right, uh, and then so it's just like once I get away from a game like that where there's like a lot of quests and stuff going on, I find it hard to go back to it. Probably should though. You know, I still haven't finished it, and I did have fun with it. And it did alright, too, actually, viewer viewership-wise. Uh, okay, well, I gotta get out of here. I need to go repair my pickaxe. Um, I might as well take some more scoria with me, I guess. The servers are shutting down next month, just 45 days after launch. What are you talking about the day before? They've already, like, suspended the game. The whole company's going out of business and everything. I already got a refund for it. This, like, dropping into the ground and not being pick upable thing is really annoying. There's, I think I, don't wanna, I lost one in here somewhere. Not my favorite bug. 
Actually, we found no obsidian, but... It's probably gonna take a little hunting. Oops, wrong button. The new bu oh, there's new bugs? They didn't have enough of the old bugs? Uh, inventory full. What do I got that I can get rid of? I don't need spoiled meat on me. I don't really need all this leather so much. I can get rid of that if I need to. It's <laughs> another one in the ground. I can't get it. I can have it. Just be happy you don't drop it to the ground with it. <laughs> Sorry, fair enough. Red back. I don't know if those are aggressive or not. What the heck was that? A lava broodling? Why is it Spartan? Look at that thing. I wonder if the red back killed it. Bulbous palm? Tree sap stick and fiber and stuff. All right. Well, he's definitely not aggressive. Let's see what happens when we skin this thing. What do you get out of it? Stone, raw meat, and bone. Lava broodling. Press J to open the field guide. Lava broodlings, only 1%. <laughs> They're like, by the way, there's monsters. <laughs> That's all we'll tell, about, tell you about them for now. Okay, good times. It's really dark. I don't like it. I'm gonna go back in the cave and sleep till morning, I think. I'd rather travel in the daylight. Especially if there's stuff out here that I don't know what it is. See, this will be where, where I wake up and I like step on the fire automatically as I get out of bed. <laughs> Daylight has dawned. Demand a paternity test. Red-eyed jerk up there watching me. It's like, I see dinner coming this way. Even Subnautica had more detailed description than that saying something. Yeah, it looks like, like as you get exposed to them, like, killing more and more of them, it looks like it unlocks more information. So, like, on your... Uh... Dealer? I'm freaking stuck. Get me out of here. Come on. That did literally nothing. There we go. Ooh, free. Good lord. It's stuck a little crag in the rock. Still snow. I hope you're safe up there. 
Haven't seen you in a few days. I was wondering if the uh, earthquakes were near you. Hopefully you're all good. That's just regular stone, I guess. A lot of your city you'll find in the northern connection cave to the marsh biome. I have not found said cave. So the uh, the obsidian's in the caves. I suppose to just out in the open. This landscape is brutal here, and still plants grow. Look at that. That looks very inviting. <laughs> All good here. Uh, one egg of a shake, even here in Osaka. Oh, yeah. I, I wasn't... I couldn't remember where in Japan you were, so I um, I wasn't sure where... Whether you would have been affected or not, but I saw there were like three of them already. Craziness. I'm glad you're okay, though. Even if your daughter does make fun of my character's hair all the time. <laughs> what the heck? So I can't even get close to this without the heat impact. I wonder if I if I build wooden ramps out here, will they catch fire from the heat? If so, that'd be cool. It's definitely a little too warm. looks toasty. It's a little bit on the warm side. What can I say? I'm in Canada. I'm trying to get a break from the cold. We're just headed to the lava. Can't climb up here. There we go. See, I'm trying to see if there's another way I can get around this lava lake to see if I can find the cave that goes to uh, the swamp biome over here. I'm assuming the cave is like over here somewhere, but Weird year so far. Earthquake on the first day, plane crash on the second, big fire on the third, train stabbing on the... Man! You guys, that is not a good record to be on, Still Snow. Oh, there's a cave down there. Southwest corner of L4 has a cave. Southwest corner of L4 is all the way down here. Are you thinking of a different spot? Southwest corner of L2, maybe? Or K2, maybe? Wait till you see what happens next week. <laughs> yeah. Oh, soybeans. My inventory's full. I can't even pick them up. That's good. Um, we got rid of the fiber and the leather. I don't really need either of those. Soybeans I ended up ordering in from the station because I hadn't come to the volcanic region yet. How bad does the heat get? <laughs> I think it looks like there's a cave there, but I can't really see. Maybe not. I'm not losing health, even though it's really hot. What's up here? Seems like a rampway to a cave. Except it's not. Dang it.
<laughs> Jump down and check it out. Yeah, I'll get right on that. I, I can't though, I forgot my water wings. I don't want to drown in the lava. A hyena? Should first ask questions later. Okay, that is not that is not any of those things. Oh god. No, oh, it's already gore me. What the Okay. Reload. <laughs> what are you? Stone jaw, large predator with rock like outer coating that protects it from most damage. Oh, well that that would be problematic for arrows, I'm guessing. An overhanging lava base would be cool. Oh, it has copper ore on it. That's weird. Whatever. Take it for now, I guess. Oh, it's below me. So the lava broodlings are armored, too. That's fun. What's the negative effect of the heat? I don't... I was worried about how much the heat bar went up and it's showing the... showing this. Overheating. Oh, increased water consumption and... Increased stamina consumption. I mean, that's not really that bad. I thought I would, like, start taking damage from getting too hot, but it's not really that big a deal, it seems like. Although I probably shouldn't go into the lava. Tend to add that to my bestiary. <laughs> this little guy too. Oh no, he was already in my bestiary. Another cave. Echo, echo, echo. Ooh. <laughs> That's not spoopy at all. I don't think my pickaxe is going to hold out for this. That looks cool. In a creepy Mount Doom kind of way. That's interesting. So out there when I was next to the lava, I was getting a heat debuff, but here I'm not. I'm going to assume if I step in the lava, I catch fire, and that's probably a negative thing. Um, But I want to go across and see what's over there. I've only got two stone floors. I might be able to actually make that work. Ooh, that's not gonna work. <laughs> I forgot. Forgot they gotta kind of make connections with the wall. Um, I could jump to that rock in the middle, but then I might not be able to get this stone back. Will the wood floors burn? I don't know. I have a feeling they will. Hawk with a 17 month burn message. No heat warning means it's fine. Jump in. Yeah, that's. Let me get right on that. Okay, the fact that this doesn't connect with the wall when I try to place it. How do I, um... You can't stop it from snapping, can you?
Okay, hold on. Let's try something else. I've got these uh, ramps here. <laughs> I want to put it in the lava just to see if it'll catch fire. I'm guessing it will, but... The game lagged just as I jumped! Come on! Now I'm gonna die. I'm on fire. Well, that was crispy. It wasn't my fault though. Like literally, as soon as I went to jump, there was there was a graphical hiccup, and the uh, the thing like lagged out on me. <laughs> literally, not my fault. I swear. I can't. I can't. No, that doesn't work. Rotate. Oh, that works. Okay, that'll work. No, those aren't touching the wall. Uh, that's problematic. Okay, we made it over. <laughs> Getting back might be a bit of a problem, though. More platinum in here. Platinum, aluminum, iron, titanium. There we go. If it's already full, that's a problem. Uh, all right, titanium, scoria, aluminum. Platinum. I don't really don't need the copper that can go. Don't need those bones. Bones are easy enough to come by. Other event incoming. Ember sprinkles. Incoming ember storm. Find shelter to protect yourself. I wonder if you catch fire if you're caught out in that. That could be problematic. Definitely a cave base for T4 stuff, yeah. Oh, there we go. This pickaxe has almost had it. Item broken, there it goes. Alright, that's all she wrote for the pickaxe. I can't gather anything more. Um, I can take a quick peek and see if there's anything else in here, but... This is a big cave. I wonder if this one passes through to another area. There's no worms in here. And it's all sloping upwards. This has got to be a pass-through cave. Why is there worms in here, but not in the other area? Oh, this is a cave within a cave. That's funny. <laughs> Make sure not to eat bean burritos before going- yeah. The blue angels you would fire might be dangerous. Very dangerous. Not so much for me, but for whoever might be behind me. <laughs> well, that's cool. Um, where am I? Oh, this this has got to be a pass-through cave. There's got to be an opening over there, but I don't know if I could even climb to it if I wanted to. Maybe I can. My light's not going very far in here. <laughs> if 
Foods weren't out. That looks like a, another cave over here on the right. If I jump down there, I wonder if I can get back up. More titanium, but I can't gather it. Dead end? Really? Oh, there's a... Okay. Yeah, I'm on the Prometheus map. Oh, sorry, Maple. <laughs> I realized Maple was under my desk. I just accidentally hit her with my foot. I got pneumonia, too, now. I really hate the pneumonia in this game. That is, like, the worst effect. I would not be upset if they just got rid of it. <laughs> Need to order mithril glass tools, yeah. Yeah, it's also a, a lava cave. Like, how am I getting pneumonia in a lava cave? You know, beyond the fact that, uh... Uh... Beyond the fact that I'm wearing an environmental suit. I don't understand how in a hot cave I'm getting pneumonia. Use a stone to make platforms? I, I can't. You have to use a crafting bench. You can't make stone platforms in your inventory. Excuse me. That was a bit of overkill. Probably didn't need to use a bullet there. <laughs> no arrow left there. Uh, Alright, so there's more titanium in here, but no obsidian in this cave. A little irritated that my pickaxe broke. No, I can't even gather all this titanium I'm finding. Come on, let me up. And we found exotics. <laughs> Um, I can get exotics with the iron pickaxe, but I'm going to have to ditch some stuff. Leave the beans behind. Oh, actually, wait, I've got, I've got inventory. Exotics have inventory already. Oh, they only stack in 20s. That's a lame... All right. So this is not a pasture cave. <laughs> it's just a really deep lava cave. This is crazy. When is spacesuit pneumonia in the manual? Apparently it's there somewhere. So we're really good at catching pneumonia. It's practically hiding in the rock.
I don't know if there's more cave off to the right there or not, or even if it's worth looking, given I can't mine anything along the way. Maybe I'll just leave it. Let's go back. We'll see if we can try to find that um, cave that goes between the volcanic zone and the uh, and the swamp area. David Lazenby with Super Chat. The geology of this game is really all over the map. It really is, both literally and figuratively. <laughs> Okay, that was not that was not a good jump. I almost fell in the lava. I think this is the way out. It's worth the risks. I mean, exploration. I mean, it would be if I had tools I needed to mine more titanium and stuff when I'm in here, titanium and platinum and what have you, but I don't, so not really much point. Aside from the exploration fun. His <laughs> pants were on fire. Oh, he must have been a liar, liar. So tough. Sorry, I had to hack up along. Make a wooden platform for science. Uh, I don't have the inventory space to even create one and hold it. Here we'll, here's what we'll do. We'll put we'll put a wooden ramp into the uh, into the lava, and we'll see what happens. Well, it doesn't like the lava. <laughs> it might have actually been not connecting to a wall. Maybe I'll try again. Yeah, no, it doesn't like that very much. Actually, now that I just destroyed those two, it's occurring to me that I might need them to climb at some point. Maybe I better not wreck the rest of them. Oops, wrong button. See what we find over this way. plants are these? Cocoa plants. Alright, weird. Did I just drop a warthog? I might have. I might have thrown a warthog on the ground. Why? When he was a young warthog. a rock wall that is not a cave this is not a coconut that looks like a cave right there Let's see what's in here
Do you have any room tech? Just a wee little cave. A couple things in it, but not a lot. That didn't work. What was that noise? If there's another one of those little lava lings getting wrecked by a uh, red back. Come on, let me up. Let me up. Ah. Come on, let me on top of this thing. Oh, come on. <laughs> Son of a crap. That didn't work at all. Yeah, that worked better. Found a lot of caves. We found a couple of them, yeah, for sure. That one in particular that was nice and deep had several uh, branches off of it. That that was a good sized cave for sure. They're fighting up there. Leave with the super chat. Thanks for playing Icarus again. Well, thank you for the super chat. Appreciate it. Yeah, I like circling back to Icarus every now and then. I want to play it. Don't want to play it every day. But it's a good survival game, so I like coming back to it on the routine, on the regular, whatever. Continue our adventure here on Prometheus. If I could get up here, that'd be great. Especially if I could do it before that guy eats me. Come on, there we go. It's not my fault you went down there. It's your fault. I didn't make you do it. Oh, there's another one of these things. This is this just salt? Yep. Another lava broodling. I probably have to skim them to get the experience off of this for the lot for the guide or an uh, iron ore. I wonder how many different types of ore they can have on them. <laughs> Lava brood like one percent. Appreciate it, Ryan Games. So many content creators get sort of stuck on one or two games. Yeah, they kind of do that because they find that um, certain games will do well for them while other ones will do less well. So you kind of like pigeonhole yourself into the game that's doing well. It's sort of in the nature of being a variety streamer that, uh, or a variety gamer, I guess. Just going to try to do a bunch of different things and some will work well and some won't. Another cave. Finding all the good- wow, this one's loaded. Alright, that's a little- Just a little cave with lots of nodes in there. I should have enough platinum now, I can build a platinum pickaxe as my backup. And then maybe we can have, throw a modifier on it. I don't know if there's like one I can put on it for durability or something would be good. Oh, 
Oh, there's actual water over here. This must be, uh... If those are more like the hot pools or whatever. I'm gonna stay closer to this, uh, the southern wall here in case there's a cave that passes through to the, uh, the swamp biome. It's okay, I have another backup torch on me. It's, I don't really care if it burns out. Deep coal deposit. Plus five, plus five pickaxe of jiggery, or platinum pickaxe of jiggery pokery. Uh, that's what we need. <laughs> now, when we have trouble reaching the ore, we'll just use Wingardium Leviosa to lift ourselves up high enough. It'll be fine. Even though you can't use it on yourself, apparently. Okay, this isn't working. Um, I sh I'm going to regret not having all those platforms. Up. Oh crap! Houston may have a problem. I'm down to one platform. I don't know why that broke there. That was weird. It should not have broken. It was supported. Heck, I got up there, like, super easy, and then it dumped me right back down again. There we go. <laughs> Platform was not calibrated for someone of my generousness. <laughs> Wait a minute, was that like a really technical way of calling me fat? There's a cave in the water over there. I think. I think that's one. He's trying to make a monkey out of you. Was an old Glad OS insult? <laughs> A jackhammer. I, mean, I got a sledgehammer, but okay. This has got to be. A, look at the style of the nodes in here. This has got to be one of those pass-through cave kind of things. Although I still don't know where to find the obsidian. I would expect it would look like a shiny black rock, basically, but. Nothing like that here. There's more titanium in here, though. That's nice. Oh, great. It looks like the, there's multiple branches in here. That's an interesting looking ground. It looks like dried up lava flow.
Just watch, I'll find the obsidian. It'll turn out I can't gather it with the pickaxe I have anyway. I'll need to fix the one I have. Oh, that's a... Great. Another cave. Great, I got pneumonia again. Hooray! I need my... Need my food buffs. I guess I should really make the, uh, the, the pneumonia cure or whatever just brings them with me. Because I'm going to be in the caves a bunch. Same layout as another cave we were in earlier. Uh, it's in a deposit. It looks like shale stone that keeps falling in itself. Mine with the sledge. Oh, so same idea as uh, as the scoria then. Right there. That's it. Um, I don't need stone. I mean, worst case scenario, I could get rid of the stone walls even. I don't really need those. It's just like my travel structure, but... I want to keep the ramp in case I have to climb out of something. Am I lost? Oh, I'm very lost. We're deep in a cave somewhere. <laughs> Passed a few of them on the ground. Hard to see in the dark. Oh, did I? Well, at least I know what I'm looking for now. Big the stacks were going. So I got 49 obsidian out of that. That wasn't horrible. There's another one. Actually, what I might do is get rid of this cooked meat. I'm not eating it in favor of the other meat anyway. Fox knows the lava tubes periodically fill up with hot magma. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a thing if I was in here and it just like flooded with magma? Liquid hot magma. Hey, Pratiksha, how you doing? Or is it Vazwani? I can never remember the order of the names. Caveworm answers the door gets shot in the face. It was, yeah, he's like, I just got out of the shower. <laughs> His name's Hot Lava Tube. I want an appropriate name to be trolling in here. Oh yeah, for a second there, I thought I had a dead end. Which way am I facing?
Freeze them out of inventory spot. You can plant life in here now. All right, I only saw a couple of those nodes, so I, I'm sure I must have passed some back in there. But at least I know that if I come this way, I can find more, probably. I suppose there's titanium in this cave, which means I won't have to go all the way to the other the other caves to look for it right away. This is definitely a winding path. Good lord. There's iron in here too. I think I could come to this one cave and I wouldn't need to go anywhere else to get resources like anywhere. Got off work after 28 hours. That's a good amount of work. My lord. Like 28 straight hours? Man. I legally can't even do that here. My lawyer, or my, uh, my employer wouldn't let me. <laughs> They'd be like, nope, we don't want to get into legal trouble. Get out of here. Uh, I'm in Canada. I'm in southern Ontario. I think there's an opening ahead of me. I can't really see very well. Oh. <laughs> yep. That looks like an opening. Oh, brambles. Ah, I scratched my foot. We'll chop our way out of here. Okay, so that cave opening goes in the bottom left corner of L3. That's fun. Let's get my stuff back home. I can get my things repaired. We got a long run to get back. Oh, on the way, I should pick up one of those drills, too. You just burn all the thorny plants. Ooh, there's an idea. A bit of a run. See, again, if the game had dirt bikes, this is where they would come in handy. from India awesome hello in India our neighbors are from in India actually I think they only moved here a few years ago smart games had fluid dynamics like if you could divert lava or swamp water into lava yeah that'd be cool Some of that clay, but I don't have room to carry it right now. I think one of these days I'm going to have to make a special trip out to the swamp just to get the clay, because I keep forgetting to get it. If my neighbors discovered I'm a nerd yet? Yeah, my wife was pretty quick in telling them. <laughs> That's a crocodile. How about you don't mess with me, crocodile? Where's his weak point? 
Ow! 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 Okay, he just took a little... It was just a little nibble. I'm still mostly here. Sold out by the missus. That's rough. Did you... <laughs> yeah. Take that, Ubis. Hey, it's Nate and crew. Hey, Nate. We're probably not here yet because YouTube's slow, but uh, welcome anyone who's been passed over from Nate's stream. I'm not going to be live much longer myself, I don't think. Oh, natural. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get the loon crossbow from the workshop. It's the fastest firing bow in the game and no arrow drop. Oh, really? I mean, I've kind of gotten used to the arrow drop, but... I, what I need to do is get the... Um, I gotta get set up a repair bench so I can actually fix some of my stuff. And then I won't be as concerned about having stuff from the work, uh, the, um, the, sp the station. Part of the issue is that I, I, anything I bring down from the station gets broken. And I have repair kits, but I don't have the bench set up to fix them. Uh, and I really should, I guess. You subscribe. Well, thanks for the subscription. Welcome. Took me a while to realize that having a fancy PC with whizzy lights doesn't impress girls. <laughs> yeah. No, not so much. Not so much at all. <laughs> I don't know why. I mean, I feel like they should be impressed by RGB, but uh, for some reason they're not. Unless they're like my daughter, who's like the, the daughter of a gamer, and so she's a gamer too. That might be a little different. Just accidentally rolled over? <laughs> well, welcome, accidental arrivals. What plant is it? Oh, tea bush. I can make tea. Because it's RGB, it needs one solid color pink. Listen, girls are not that one-dimensional that they only like pink. Sometimes they like RGB, too. So being nerds and inherited? Yeah, it can be inherited for sure. <laughs> I'm not sure if inherited is the right word. I mean, it's more like a taint, I think. I've tainted her with my gamerness. Years ago, I showed her Minecraft after playing it with Nate at his place. I went back and I was like, hey, you'd probably like this. Look at this thing. And so she, she became a Minecraft addict and then transitioned to other games. Now she plays like Valorant and stuff. I can stream until 2 a.m. Well, that's a good theory, but maybe not so much. I'm already having to, to mute a lot to cough, unfortunately. I had like an asthma attack or something yesterday. Just brutal coughing fit that lasted for like 30 minutes. <laughs> it's the weekend you can sleep in. <laughs> Again, good theory. <laughs> I have a wife. <laughs> That's right, I'm talking about my taint. Actually, I don't really care about killing that thing. It doesn't have anything I want right now. Looks like there was a storm that came through here. Stuff's all damaged again. Oh! Ah! Alright. Ah, turns out they're aggressive. Oh, oh, Jesus, it jumped on my head! Ah! God dang! Where's your friend? Ah! Oh, crap, man! It is dead, right? <laughs> it just kept going. I forget what these things give you when you kill them. Oh yeah, volatile substance. A highly explosive substance made from... Oh, 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 hold on. Highly explosive, you say? Crystallized miasma. I don't care about the acidic glands. I don't really need those. By the way, you're born in America to Korea parents, or to Korean parents. 
was raised by your aunt till he turned 12 and he went to India. Oh, that's cool. Good life experience to get around and see a bit of the world. Where is my hammer? Gotta get hammered. That horse is trying to run me over. Wait, that is a different type of critter. So these say they're planes equics. I passed by that one on the way here that was a like a completely different named creature, but I Oh no, oh never mind. Never mind. It's a different animal. <laughs> I are smart. I got all the smarts. These are the War of the Worlds creatures here. At least get my uh at least get my arrow back, but not so much. Yeah, Fox takes one step. Boom! And <laughs> turns out they were carrying nitroglycerin. <laughs> All it said was highly explosive. Alright. I gotta find another place to set the drills up. Ooh, uh, I don't need the seeds. We'll take the fuel can with me. <laughs> Tentacles a USB hub, I swear. <laughs> All right, we gotta go. Uh, we gotta westward. Oh! Crap. That was a poorly timed jump right there. <laughs> Can't get out of the water. Nor can I see. What the heck, man? Alright, we're good. Yeah, he was uh, he was up on my desk earlier. I had the camera on him up there, but I I sneezed and he didn't like it, so he was like, like screw you, buddy. I'm gonna lay down here. If we could set, reset your spawn point back at your house, yeah, that would be a very good idea. Spawning in the lava zone might not be the best place to pop up. Get back and a Moa's leveled your house. Wouldn't that be the thing? It like killed my horse or whatever. I do have that deterrent out though. That's it should still have another like three or four hours on it. So I don't think we'll have that problem. But that would be just my luck. <laughs> when has things ever gone your way? <laughs> Fair enough. Alright, we're at the crater. I really wish I'd seen where that... Comet thing landed. I wonder if I could, like... Um... That exotics meteor storm, I think, is what resets those deep exotic deposits. So, like, when you mine them out, it'll drop another one. I wonder if you can see them glowing at a distance, or if they're, like, not terribly visible. 
Because I feel like it would be... Oh, it would be somewhere off in this general direction, but... There was no way to tell how far away it was when that comet was coming down. I might have to set up that um, radar thing. Might even be in another biome, I guess. Is the crater still bugged? Mine has bear cubs spawning randomly and they just keep spawning. No mama bear. Really? I haven't seen those, I don't think. I don't think I've ever seen that happening down here. No, I don't think so. Maybe it's just on your game that it was doing it. Super random. I haven't seen a bear on this map, I don't, I don't think, yet. I hope that, um, that animal deterrent works on those flying death bomber things, whatever they are. Plot twist, it wasn't a deterrent, it was an attractant. Yeah, that would be my luck. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> what I didn't do was check and see if I have another mission. Simple quests, operations, long form multi stage missions which take place across the map. Rewards, ren, and exotics. Rewards, experience, planetary items, and small amounts of ren. I mean. Build a watchtower and place a beacon to mark location in the map for future USDA use. Or UDA use, rather. Locate down drone. I don't really care about those. The ren doesn't really matter to me so much. Yeah, these are the missions here that I would be more interested in. Unavailable in the open world, horizon exploration. Okay. Well, that makes sense, because it's just, like, looking around. Crystal extraction. Extract. Extraction of rare ice resources. That's worth 300. Celebrity chef stockpile we already tackled, so we don't have to do that. Shadowed investigation. Follow the thief's trail. That's worth 200. It opens up these other ones, too. Tree hut construction. And miasmic research. Ooh. Miasmic research, you say. Maybe we should take on this thing. Seeing as how you did so well last time, Group 15 wants you back on the case, Sherlock. I've even been given a message for you from some uptight rep lady. Uh, I got it around here somewhere. Uh, some uptight rep lady. Hello, Prospector. My name is Clark. I will be your handler for the group on any future assignments. Our analysis of your performance confirms your viability as a potential partner to the group. Very few meet our criteria. Your guide should provide mission details. We look forward to working with you further. Sounds like you're well on the way to being redacted out of UDA reports. Good for you. Let's Wait, that's a good sure thing? you're not a little black box under the KIA section. <laughs> they need you to find the location of another base. Must be nearby here somewhere. Location of another base, eh? Oh, I can't put the volatile substance... Okay, how do I... Highly explosive substance made from the locally found materials native to Icarus. Feels like it exploded at any point. <laughs> uh... Hmm... I wonder what you're supposed to do with that. Must be something we can craft. Stick these in here for now. Uh, I can put away my travel stuff in here. Even though I left the sleeping bag in the fireplace there. Might as well put this here too. Oh, I gotta fix my uh, my obsidian pickaxe. That'll be out here. There we go. 
That's at a bench, so I can't fix that. Craft explody bullets? Is that what it's for? Apparently the bullets are not crafted here. I probably need like a chemistry bench or something that I haven't crafted maybe to use it. Oh, not crafted there either. Or is it called like ammo or something instead? Oh, there it is. Ammo casings. Rifle rounds, buckshot. Explosive buckshot, or sh explosive shotgun shells uses the volatile substance. Explosive rifle rounds. Two hundred projectile damage and then three hundred explosive damage. That's cool. All right, I'll make a few of those. As long as I got the stuff, I might as well make it. I'm gonna leave them here though. I don't really need to be running around making everything explode around me. Uh, and then how do I call down the thing for my exotics deposit? Is that here? I sent some deposit, some exotics back to the station. No point in keeping them down here with me. They're completely useless to me on the surface. And I'm sneezing like crazy. That's up with the super chat. This game needs a feature like Seven Days to Die, where you can click on something and then pull up all the recipes and things used for. Yeah, that would be really handy, actually. Particularly given how many different benches there are in this game. Kind of a little crazy. Oh, portable beacon and a radar. Just between us, I'd advise you to watch your back when you're working with the group. They don't exactly have the best track record when it comes to the safety of their contractors. Hey, that damaged my water wheel. But, well, just be careful out there. There's not much else I can do for you from here. Stay sharp. Darn thing. That was annoying. Oh, I should actually check and make sure this thing's not full of crap. Not too bad. Shuttle tips over and launches at you. Yeah, wouldn't that be great? Oh, I gotta reset. Yeah, let me reset my respawn before I forget. There we go. Respawn, reset. Thanks for the reminder. Certainly very handy. I want to get some more electric lights going in here later. But for now, it's after midnight my time. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna call it a quits for tonight. We uh, we got to the where I wanted to go. I did get the titanium I needed. Um, it's now down here in my smelter. Um, let's try to get the titanium prioritized for smelting. So I got 223. That's a pretty good start. Like it's not it's not amazing. I do need to go back and get more. I also got platinum, which is certainly gonna come in handy. Aluminum. I've got lots of gold now that I've got that gold deposit like right outside my base that I can just keep mining, so that's super handy. Uh, next time we come back, we'll work on that mission I just picked up. Uh, I guess we gotta go and, I don't know, mark some new base or something somewhere. See what's up with that. Uh, but thanks everyone for coming to hang out tonight. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the super chats and everything this evening as well. I'm as always Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.